Hi, welcome to Quick Chemistry. Today we'll be discussing ring flipping. So what is a ring flip? Put simply, a ring flip is a way two conformations of a cyclohexane chair can be converted into each other through a series of bond rotations. Before we look at the rules for performing a ring flip, there are a few key things that you should already know. First, you should familiarize yourself with what a cyclohexane chair is and how to make its skeletal structure. Second, you should recognize that there are two different positions an atom can occupy on a cyclohexane chair, axial, straight up and down, or equatorial, off to the side of the ring. So let's look at performing a ring flip. To perform a ring flip, there are four steps that will be used. The first step is orientation. This means that carbons that were numbered originally in the clockwise fashion continue to go clockwise. Likewise, carbons that were numbered in the counterclockwise fashion continue to go counterclockwise. The second step to follow is flip template, where groups on a particular numbered carbon will be placed with the carbon of the corresponding number in the ring flip. The third and fourth steps are similar and that the groups that are orientated upward in the chair projection will be orientated upward in the ring flip skeleton. Likewise, the groups that are orientated downward in the chair projection will also be orientated downward in the ring flip skeleton. In the end, bonds weren't broken, but the axial atoms became equatorial atoms, and vice versa, the equatorial atoms became axial atoms. In summary, we reviewed what a cyclohexane chair was, the two different positions that an atom can occupy, axial and equatorial. We learned the four steps to carry out a ring flip, and we also learned what a ring flip projection was. I hope this helped explain ring flip projection, and I'll see you again soon on Quick Chemistry.